Hey, get out of my way. Ow, ow. Why, why'd you do that, man? What the hell are you talking about? You were in my way. Yeah, but you could have asked nicely. You could have been a good person. Don't make me shove you down the stairs. Please don't. After yesterday, the, the doctor said a third concussion wouldn't be good. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, my spine. Everyone, we finally got our revenge on little Jimmy. The little bastard pissed on my wall. We're, we're really bullies, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're not good people. Not at all. But We live by a code. Okay, what's the code? Well, it's not like morality. That's for sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, but what made us this way? Who knows, we should find out. We talk about this and more on Why the Hell Not. Now playing Why the Hell Not with Jay and Costa. So welcome back. Welcome to the show. It's good to have you here, Costa. It's good to have you. We took a little bit of a break. Yeah. Easter weekend, Easter week. Easter it's, two it, weeks. It's it's a Greek thing. I don't know. We we my excuse is that whole... I needed to recharge the battery. Oh, the battery. He's obviously not using Duracell. <laughs> Duracell battery goes on and oh wait, that's Energizer. Fuck. <laughs> you God failed. damn it! You I failed. fucked up. Yeah, you should hear our uh, our intro next week's gonna be pretty intense. Can't wait for it. Those things are spontaneous. We did not plan anything out. Oh, is it? <laughs> I can't really just they, shut they, it they've up. been they've been spontaneous up until, until now. Now that we got an idea. Anyway, yeah. it's just something we're throwing around. Something we're throwing around. We'll see if we remember it next week. Oh, I probably won't. It's been a cloudy day. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with a chance of meatballs. With a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I saw that movie. I did. You didn't. I just know the name because I love meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be, oh my like lord. the most honest fat kid thing ever said. Yeah. yeah that's me, I'm an honest fat kid. Shit. <laughs> <sighs> it's all right, though. It's a good animated movie. You know those animated movies always make you fucking cry? Yeah! It's, r- <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, uh... Leaf just scored. Yeah, we've been watching uh, playoff hockey. Yeah. And uh, currently... It's game three of the Washington-Toronto series where Toronto just tied it up in the second period with under a minute left. With 39 seconds. It's 3-3. Three, three. This is a really Fun. interesting game. I'm surprised Jay wanted to record the podcast today during the Leafs game. I completely forgot it was a Leafs game. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> if, if you said Tuesday, I'd be like, no, can't. Habs game. Habs game. No, I, I think we are so dedicated to this podcast even though we might take a week off here and there it's not because we don't want to record it's just sometimes you know we have to regroup recharge we we love you guys we 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 need you so please uh, if you enjoy the podcast well i gotta give a shout out to our buddy there holden he he's been giving me a lot of tips and uh, just our conversations yeah for sure and uh his podcast reached 50 subscribers subscribers on youtube headspace yeah he has like 300 people that view his page like a day that's that's crazy that's the dream you know that's the dream it's a part of a dream yeah to get that youtube money (laughs) youtube money (laughs) but i gotta give him one other thing he's doing it with a video feed yeah. 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 I don't think we could do that. Vlogs. That's what they're called, right? Video logs. Yeah. I don't even know what the actual thing stands for. Yeah, video logs. That's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Video blogs, actually. Uh, but, blog. but blogs is just... Sounds, honestly, I hate the word blog. It, honestly, it feels like something from Star Trek. We really have to attack those blogs. Or blogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Just like, Random why the change day. the word? <laughs> What? Why change the word? Video diary. Blogs. <laughs> it sounds like you know what I do when I'm fucking drunk. Blog. <laughs> Blog. I think I've seen you drunk once. When was this? A while back. Maybe. Yeah. I well, don't uh, drink a lot anymore. So. Casa de your uh, your name day is coming up. Hey, you knew, you but uh, that. before that is my birthday, so thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, what's the names day? Then? I don't even know yeah. what that means. <laughs> yeah, name day, it's, uh, it's celebrated in the Christian Orthodox religion. So, like, Ukrainians, Russians, Is that our birthday? Greeks. 
Well, actually, in Greece, it used like it was more important than the birthday. They would record your name day and not your birthday. Oh, you know, they didn't know that. So, I I think my grandfather didn't actually know the day he was born. Oh, so you're like you're born on Monday, and then they would have like a celebration. This is my child, and we shall name it Costa. No, so I mean, they they might do that, but that has nothing to do with the name day. Right. The name day is actually, and it's the same in Game of Thrones. They celebrated name day in like the the first season. Um, it's basically. The day that the saint that you're named after died. Yeah. Well, Jay is if your given- name was like Jacinta? And there's like no saint named Jacinta. Yeah, yeah. So there is a day celebrated for those who aren't named after saints. Oh, that kind of sucks. It's like- for, for example, like Hercules. It's still a Greek name in Greece. Yeah. Achilles, Achilles as well. I know, I, not be I know Achilles. an Achilles, and um, they have their own day for, you know, to celebrate their name. I guess the, I don't know what they call it exactly, but <laughs> Jerome Day. <laughs> Jerome Day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it just jo- got a lot of, J- a lot harder. J Day. Well, it's Johnny, <laughs> and there is a Johnny. There's a Saint John, my good sir. There is. There there's is. always a Saint John. If you're always thinking about it, there's always gonna be somebody named John who did something. Yeah, like John Smith, who uh, discovered Mormonism. Oh, God. It was John Smith, right? John Snow? No. Who protected us in the John. Yeah. He, he def- defended us against the White Walkers. Until now. Until now. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, Jay. Uh, yes. We had a pretty interesting discussion uh, that we wanted to share with the podcast. Yeah. I'm uh, full of shit. I said we should discuss this on the podcast. We didn't actually have a discussion about it. So this will be our first discussion about it. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward podcast. to it because uh, we all do this. And if you say you don't, unless you're Mother Teresa, we all do this. Where I feel a lot of us feel more brave behind a screen or behind a phone, behind a door. Anonymity. Uh, yeah. Is it that or is it the separation of human beings? I, I just think it's like you just get more like uh, just to use the term, you get more balls. Really? Because like you can't get punched. You, you're not expecting like you never know if you tell like if I'm talking to you and I piss you off to the point and yeah. you take a swing or you push me, you know we're all tough. Like everyone's tough to a moment. You could like I don't care what anyone says. I realized like one we're, time we're talking about being mean. By the way, yeah, we didn't actually bring up the topic. Of well, this is a good morality. example. Like when I was in grade school, I was more of a bully. Yeah. And when I got to high school, I, I mellowed out a lot more, but I didn't have many friends because the people in grade school didn't like, you know, so it's like that. So then it took me a lot longer to get friends. Okay. But I remember when I, I was basically like a gentle fat giant and I wasn't a giant anymore because in high school, like there's so many people taller than me. Right. So, uh, I was on a bus and one of my little neighbors, uh, the kid was like at least two, three years younger than us. And this guy in level five and I was in level three that we, but we knew each other. He, for some reason, I, he started picking on the small kid, right? All right. So I got involved and I'm just like, yo, stop it. And I let him go. I'm like, why are you picking on him? Like, leave him alone. I got involved and it ended up like me. I put him in a headlock to a minute and I let him go. And I thought the fight was over or the little disagreement. And then he grabs me and I grab him back and we start pushing each other. But me in a fight, like I do, th- like, I don't know. There's kind of like an unwritten rule when you're in a fight. But then you should always remember anything goes in a street fight. Yeah. But I, I kind of... Is that the unwritten rule or the unwritten rule is uh, like you like, shouldn't... Like you there's know. things you shouldn't do. Like yeah. uh, pff, it's just punching, kicking, pushing, right? All right. Like this, or like don't gouge the eyes, don't throw sand in the eyes, like uh, right. stuff like that. But one thing that I've never ever happened to me is like when I got... He got me in close and I was going to let him go, but he headbutted me. Oh, shit. But he headbutted me, like, because the first time I was just in shock. I was just like, did I just get headbutted? Yeah. Then he kept going. That's I remember, fun. like, I, my That's nose. That's not good for anyone's head, really. Well, yeah. <laughs> my head's hard as rock. No. But he hit me, like, in the bridge of the nose, but it didn't break. I was very lucky. But it, like, dislocated. All right. And, uh, you know, the floodgates opened, started bleeding. Mm. But I was just like, I, I, I consider it a loss. You know, if you're, if you're in a fighter, it's a loss. But it's, like, more of a just, like. I that goes to anything. The reason why I brought that whole story up was because 
You never know what could happen in any circumstance. So when you're behind a, a door or a phone, it's like, it's like when I get text arguments with my friends or anything, you're going to win. It's an automatic win. You guys will be a lot – like I don't want to text. If you want to argue with me, argue with me face-to-face. I'm old school in that sense. All right. So I feel a lot of people – a lot of my friends are like a lot of people feel like they can be assholes more on text. Like we have a, a mutual friend. I don't know. I call him Mowgli. But like uh, – Okay. Uh, I love this guy. I'm not talking shit about him. But like in real life, he's the sweetest guy. He's always around. He, he, he picks up his phone when he can. But it's like when we text, he'll, he'll ignore you for like 17 hours. And then come back. But in real life, he would never do that. So it's like... Maybe he's busy or forgot to see the text. Like he saw the text and forgot to answer because he was busy. And- but the thing is, it's a con- like it's become a constant thing now. Right. But I'm not talking bad about it. I'm just saying like he- he'll do something like that. He'll Or he'll write talking shit to me. I, f- I feel... Yeah, okay. And he'll... like, But in real life, he'll, like the best shit talking you can do is like, your team sucks. <laughs> but like in text world this guy like is gonna say like your team's so bad that she went on five hookers and you came out like something ridiculously like <gasps> i'd be like i can't Scandalous. Really say that. yeah like Scandalous. You know? so and then like i don't know about you but how many people in like in life like uh a girl or uh, i find it more women like i have a lot more girlfriends who i text like we're constantly always talking through text and there's things she says to me on Message where we joke around and flirt or just joking, mm-hmm. she would never say in real life. Well, <clears throat> is, that, confidence. is that because they're, uh, yeah, they're okay, yeah, I agree. Okay, so that's a good point, actually. I didn't actually consider the whole idea of confidence to speak out when you're not there, but do you think it's they get that confidence because of the disconnect between talking from another human being to, to another human being? <laughs> Of course, a hundred percent. Because you don't know, like the whole, like all the boundaries. Like if you're afraid of public speaking, if you're just a shy person, or if you want to say something really ludicrous, or you, you know, you're afraid to say. It's like you know, like one of those friends that make a racist joke, but it's so bad, you're just looking at him like, I can't believe he just said that. Like what the fuck? But if you send that to me, maybe as a like a meme or a text, I w- or like a video on Facebook, I would laugh. Right. I, I know, like, I don't condone racism, but let's be honest, there's always that one joke if it's being a, a white, really nerdy white dude, like, you have, like, three people, like, uh, Mexican eating tacos, a black guy eating chicken, and then you have that white dude's like, I really can go for a white tuna sandwich with extra mayo, please. You know, with a fucking glass of, like, Sprite. I don't know what else is more white than that, but, you know. Starbucks? I don't know. Oh, fuck. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, a pumpkin latte spice thing um, with a white girl in yoga pants. Uh, no I, booty. I, I believe that anything can be funny if done right, you know? So <laughs> that's I'm under that belief. But yeah. and, and where well, prejudice and malice and, and racism comes in is like intention. On my phone right now, I have a picture. Yeah. And it's like... Like, I, I want to... It's like a girl saying he gets extra points if he loves little if he loves children, right? And okay. it's like Hitler holding a child's hand. Oh I'm like how do you make that funny? Yeah, just just girly things, yeah. right? That stuff. Yeah. 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 I yeah. saw that I was just like I died of laughter. When you when you and your friends all wear the same outfit and it's like the Nazi uniform. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are funny. Those are fucking funny. Bunch of people in a a field. I'm not going to make this joke because it's so bad. You started making the joke. I can't. I, I, on to the next thing right away. Well, okay. There's a disconnect between us and the audience, even though I feel you guys are all here. But there is a disconnect well, from like this computer and the internet. So uh, fucking man up and say the joke. It's like a, a bunch of people in the field and they're all smiling, but you realize they're picking cotton. Oh. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Um, okay. <laughs> Guys so, buying calculators, but it's all Asian people smiling. <laughs> it's North Korea. <laughs> oh, they're all they're all uh, for yoga, but they're crazy. Uh, they're a dictator. Oh my god! Let's talk about World War Three. Another episode. <laughs> oh wait, but hold on. Okay. Did you uh, see that uh, there was a meme where, or somebody on the news said uh, the mother of all bombs? You saw that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? Detonated, dated, wow, detonated. Yeah. Like, anyways, but supposedly and Russia has a bigger bomb now. 
Really? I just find so it's, it's like, the grandmother of all bombs. I don't know what the fuck it is. They're just saying it's bigger and better than that. I'm just like, this is just a giant dick contest. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just like you know, the rocket in space. There's nothing more phallic than a spaceship, except for maybe a penis itself. So, <laughs> a man with a large car. Mm-hmm. So, here's the question that me and a mutual friend of ours was having. We were talking about morality and whether people are born bad or created bad or if we have this propensity to shift from bad to good. And if that's the case, who, like, do people have the capacity to do more bad than other people given the correct circumstances? I think the answer, in my opinion, would be uh, we're all born with a clean slate. But it's the nature versus nurture thing, you know? Right. So it's like, I feel like with uh, the environment you're in, and if it's, I really do believe that. But there will be those rare cases where it's just someone's a dick. Well, I'm, I'm a, I'm a proponent of everything being like a mix of nature and nurture, except for Huntington's chorea, which is 100% biological, which is fucked. Do you know about this disease? All right. So there's this thing called Huntington's chorea. And uh, basically, when you get it, you just, like, curl up into a ball. You start shitting yourself. You can't speak. You will like, drool. It's it's really unpleasant. Mm -hmm. But there's a test that you can actually go to the hospital and ask for to find out if you're going to get it. And if this test comes back as positive, it's 100% chance that you're going to get it at one point in your life. That is literally like saying, I know how you're going to die. You die from and this? It, yeah, uh, you can. You can because you can't take care of yourself, right? So if no one's taking care of you, you'll wither away. But um, imagine you, you go to the doctor and they tell you this is exactly how you're going to die. That's fucking horrible. And there's no other chance unless you like get hit by a car sooner you know like a lot of people it's been recorded that they sleep with a gun these people and they kill themselves like when they feel it coming along it's messed up have you ever seen house yeah the 13 you remember the girl 13 played by olivia wilde yeah yeah you remember her um she she had it she took the test and it turned out that she was gonna get it eventually now I stopped watching House at one point, yeah. so I don't know how that turned out. But that's a, that's scary. That's scary, man. I never heard about it. I don't even want to look up it, look it up, just in case I have it. And it's genetic, so well because it's biological. So like these people have probably seen what it did to their like, you know, their father or how their grandfather. It? It's just a gene that you have. Oh, if you have that gene, you're fucked. It's, it's incurable. You can't cure it. No, there's yeah. no cure for it. That's horrible. Not yet. Yeah, it's messed up. It's pretty tough that one. Anyway, so uh, as I was going along with uh, morality, uh, the only question I have is like, are we all capable of doing something as horrific as, let's say, Hitler did, or you know, murder? You just mean like murder. I mean, like, mur- worse than murder. Because you got to admit, oh, I, I mass just, uh, murder is worse than one murder, right? Yeah. Serial killing would be on the same le- well, okay, level. Well, just to do something, that, like, do we have something to be, like, uh, the arch villain in the story or something like that? Or right. super villain. Right. I believe so. I believe you so. believe that it's in all of us? I believe we have, like, either we're going to ch- battle between in between, or we're going to be ultra good or ultra bad. It's just... We have the we have the choice, but sometimes one choice obviously is stronger than the other. Hmm. So it's one of those things like where there's no right or wrong answer. Right. So uh, this reminds me of the Milgram experiment. Right. I've told you about this, right? Yes. Yeah. So. Do you remember it at all? I, I sent you videos too. I remember now. Uh, so this was a test done after World War Two. Mm-hmm. Of uh, the psychologist wanted to ask the question if. Why are these Nazi soldiers doing what they're ordered? 
Like, why oh, did yeah. no one say, like, no, this is ridiculous. We're not going to do this. The electrical shock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a, that's so a good story. Yeah. It's a good experiment. It's, good. it's illegal now. Well, here's the thing, okay? I'll tell you. So he gets two people, one a learner and one a teacher. And the teacher's job is to teach the learner patterns, so pairs of words. And if the the learner got it wrong, the teacher had to use an electric shock to uh, punish the learner for getting it wrong. Basically, the experiment was designed to look like it was an experiment about learning. Can punishment help learning? But the real point of the experiment was to find out how far these people would go to uh, uh, listen to authority. Now, in Nazi Germany, the soldiers had a gun to their head. If they didn't listen to authority, they get shot. For going against the Reich, right? These people Who's just. Who's the first Reich? Who's the second? I, I have no fucking idea. Huh? He has, he I'm sure you could look Reich. it up. I'm sure you could look it up. I don't, I don't know if I want to. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to start watching that at work, I think I'm going to get fired. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> sure. You? For sure. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. Okay, these people, okay, in the experiment. The only person that was asking them to continue the experiment, if they had refused to give a shock, was a scientist. Yeah. Some guy in a lab coat. Right. If the guy hears screaming from the other room, from the, the learner getting shocked, they would start saying, I don't think this is right. And the experimenter would go, no, you have to continue. And they would continue most of the time. Um... Uh, Oh, by the way, the learner was part of the experiment, if I didn't make that clear. He wasn't actually getting electric shock. Anyway, could... So he faked it? Uh, yeah, he was faking getting shocked. But it was in another room. Like, they, they didn't see each other. Right. So, I gotta ask you, how many people do you think went all the way? Well, these... all, all the way down the shocker because each shock got higher and higher and they kept ha having to use the highest voltage if they got to the end. At least... I would say 75%. 75? Yeah. You say 75%. Why so high? Why do I believe so many people went all the way? Yeah. Uh, I just feel like we, a lot, we have a lot of sheep. We have a lot of sheep? Yeah. When the experiment came out, I think they predicted that 1% would uh, go all the way. Yeah. In reality, it was lower than your number. Thank God. <laughs> it was 66%. Two pretty out of three people. Close. Two out of three people. That's pretty fucking close. Man, your number is high too. Fuck. Anyway. It's because I remember you saying something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Cheater. That's straight. <laughs> What what do you think you would have really said? Fifty. Yeah, you would have said fifty. Fifty or like legit sixty. Because hmm. I see a lot. Of, like we gotta think about it. I, that brings up uh, maybe another topic for next time. But I believe the leadership quality is something special in each person. You mean like authority? Not authority. Like the actual leader. Like some something that drives you to wanting to be the number one. Okay. In that sense, like athletes. You know, we have the athletic, but not every athlete is a born leader. Some of them just fill roles. It just comes back. Like I really believe, like um, it was a. It's made into a series of movies, like Divergent. Okay. You know the Divergent right. series, yeah. or whatever it's called. Yeah. I believe in that a bit. Like I believe, like we we all group up. I think it would work out really well. Well, uh, I think I've talked about this before. That TED talk about how to create a revolution, and okay. basically it's a video. The guy plays. It's a minute long TED talk, and he plays. A minute long video mm -hmm. about um, this one guy at a I don't know if he was at a festival or just like a packed park but he starts dancing like just doing crazy moves it's not even good dancing it's just like waving his hands yeah. jumping around you know but he's looking like he's having a good time and uh, he's talking about the stages of revo the revolution saying this is the one leader this guy went out of his way to show something he believes in to the group of people. 
and it's coming on with a lot of resistance. No one is joining him. But, as you can see, and then another guy comes in, he's going to find someone who agrees with him, and they're going to go up and start showing their beliefs. So now that there's two of them, it makes it easier for others to start going up. Yeah. yeah. And suddenly, that leader has now sparked this whole revolution where the whole park is now dancing like that. It's, it's pretty incredible to see, but it takes dedication. At, at the end of it, no one knows who the leader is. And that could be the case for a lot of revolutions. Well, maybe, maybe not for the big, big ones, but for like, like a I, couple of them. Like what I was trying to say was like, I do believe in that divergent thing because I believe there's certain people that are better like suited to like obviously in the world we have better people that are suited to be lawyers and law or something like that we have people that are more like i they could follow the law and enforce it we have people that you know are good with cooking and farming and all that stuff i believe there's people who just have a natural good like decision making leadership you know right and then there's just those rare people that can fit into every category okay you know that's what I just I kind of slightly believe that I really do, and I like communism. I like I believe the concept of communism. If it was done right, it would be perfect. Do you, but we'll do you, never have it. Yeah, nev- never. We're, we're humans. We yeah. can't do that. Do Do you think that le- leadership qualities can be learned, or are you born with them? Ooh, long this pause. This is a good question because it's. I'm gonna give an answer, and you tell me if it makes sense. Please. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand, but we, we've we've tangents here. It's good. I like it. You know, I believe that you could learn it, but something that has been born with would always be better. Hmm. Interesting. I I understand your your comment makes sense, but I have a rebuttal to that. Please go ahead. What if you're born with the talent, right? But you do not foster the talent. Whereas someone who isn't born with the talent puts time in to foster the talent. Is it not possible that he could end up at a higher level than the guy born with the talent? Of course, yeah. Yeah. Because it also means for like, you could have like, if you take, let's say, a hundred people on both sides. Some people that want to learn it and some people don't. But I be- my reasoning being is if they have that passion and they're born with it, they'll be unstoppable. Because anything you're given or born with, you j- have that drive. It's like a hidden drive. We have more. Okay. So that's now, now you're talking about passion, right? To a point, yes. But okay. So you believe that you can learn these leadership skills, for example. And you're saying that that's made easier if you've got a passion to become a leader. How can I say this? It's like, um, I don't know if this is going to make sense. Hold it, hold it closer to the mic. I, I don't know if this <laughs> is going to make sense. Yeah. But like, uh, wow, almost lost my train of thought there. But uh, let's say you have a dream to being a lawyer. Okay. And, you know, it's like, if you have that driven power, like that drivenness, and also that dedication, like that passion you're talking about. Yeah. But we're also saying it into a different way because we're actually talking about being born with a trait too, in a way, you know? It's like, think right. about it. It's like if you're, there's some people, like, uh, here's an example. The two best soccer players in the world, okay? Yeah. Or for our nerdier people, uh, people who are into like anime and stuff and comics, Goku and Vegeta. Okay. Goku wasn't born gifted. I, th- I think Superman and Goku are, are a better example. Not for this. The comparison. Okay, go ahead. No, because... Okay, so Goku's always training right. to being better. Okay. And that's the thing that driven him. Like, he always drives, has that driven power to train, train, train. But if you gave Vegeta the same drive that he has... Which he gets multiple times throughout the whole series. No. When he's competing against Goku... He's always driving to like. But here's the thing: he's driving to compete with Goku. Yeah, right? yeah. We're saying if he had that drive, just to, that drive for the drive it's sake, because that's the whole argument the writer made is Goku is always trying to achieve a higher status, right? Right. His Vegeta competition is himself. Is himself. 
But Vegeta's competition is Goku. Yeah. So as soon as he gets to a level where he's equal to Goku, he stops. He stops, yeah. So good, that's the thing. But the, the writer has said is if Vegeta had the same drive as Goku, right. he would be like out of this world better than him. Mm-hmm. Because he was given – he was born – Because he him. had the advantage of where he was born and everything. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And that's – Same yeah. thing with Gohan. Gohan was supposed to be at one point before the writer took his break. Was supposed to The story was supposed to usher into him. But it didn't pick up with the fans, and that's why they stopped right. it. But like supposedly, Gohan was bit, was born with a better trait because of his human gene. Okay, and yeah, something like that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, that was quite a tangent. Yeah, that was interesting. So, so the reason we bring up morality to go back on hand with the subject yeah. was uh, Costa was having a conversation with a colleague and. Um, it, it came off with such a little thing, right? You were telling me it was over a video game. Uh, we were talking about, so Clash of Clans has this, Clash of Royale. Uh, Clash Royale has this feature where you can play with a stranger, obviously, but you could send emotions towards them. So you could send a laughing face, you could send a crying face, an angry face, or a thumbs up, and then you could say thank you, good game, whatever. Yeah. Now, when you're losing and someone sends you a thumbs up, it don't make you feel good. No. There's nothing so- thumbs up about that. Yeah. When you're losing and someone sends you a crying face, you know they're not the ones crying. No. So they just so those emotions just get you so worked up what? and so tilted that you make more mistakes. And uh he was saying that those emotions are useless to the game that you you don't need that kind of negativity and it it there is nothing good about those emotions those words and those faces okay and i agreed with him but he said that people like assholes no we talked about anonymity on the internet and uh, at some point we got into this idea that people People are assholes. Some people are assholes. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. Can't we all be assholes? But some of us might control it better, you know? And the anonymity of the internet gives us some freedom to express our assholeness. That's why there's so many trolls on there. And so, yeah, the main issue was who's an asshole? Can we all be assholes? Are more some people more driven to be an asshole than the other and not driven i don't mean like they have they want to be assholes i mean like their biology maybe makes them an easier person to be an asshole you know so that's that's how that came out i find it funny because casa when i played with him a couple times as a as against or together this is different we spam it on yeah yeah because it's assholes It's friends. That it's different when you you do it as friends and when you do it as like, I, I do it. I love it because I love having the co-leader thing right now. And if I'm telling you one more kid bites me, they're fairly friendly, and they do that to me, I'm just gonna kick them. <laughs> just kidding. Why? Why would they? Why would you kick them if they invited you to a friendly? Because uh, they do the like. I played a couple friendlies. With yeah. Some people from our clan. Yeah. And they talk all big and bad because they beat me, and I'm like in legendary. Right? No one so talks shit. They about emote. You. They emote. Okay, like but I'm just saying it. we emote fuck. each other. No, We're all friends in the clan. But That's I'm not what a gonna, clan I'm is. not gonna actually do it. I'm talking shit, motherfucker. But I, I'm like at one point before. This is some random kid that another guy has who just added. Okay. Like I don't know him. You don't know him, probably. No, but I mean. No, but we're being stupid. I'm being like really dumb I and immature. S- yeah. Okay. So, anyways, but it's like, bro, I don't want to talk about that game because I came into a whole conversation about that. But <laughs> I hate the fact that they put the level cap in the the fights. It's just to make it fair in a friendly fight. That's no. all it is, because it's a friendly fight. No, I understand your point, but it's like my uh, my deck. Yeah. I make it. Yeah, it's only it's, good if it's high level. It has to okay, be high level. Yeah. yeah. So it got me really annoyed that time. Uh, anyway. And no, I wanted that... to be very not moral right there and just kick him out, but I didn't. Good. Good. You uh, exercised your morality. Yeah. For a moment. That's okay. I actually had a conversation with, uh, with one of our friends, Damien. Right. And I had to explain to the person I, I did kick out. It wasn't because I didn't like him. I kicked out like three other people because they weren't donating. Like We have a bunch of people that don't donate. And that's another thing about morality. Think about it. It's like 
<laughs> bro, for real though, it, I know Clash Royale now, teaching you know, us morality. But let's not really like. I'm just giving an example. It's like you you're joining something and you're asking for something, right? right? Okay, you you donate, and then you ask back, and you should get. But we have a lot of people who ask but never donate. Mm-hmm. Like I don't mind giving to them because a lot of people who are asking and don't donate, they're asking for cards that I have tons of. Yeah, you know, because right now I'm in limbo. I can't go up. Mm-hmm. Because uh, for me to upgrade cards now, it's like 20,000 gold or 40,000. All right. It's like nowhere to go now. So uh, let's take it away from Clash Royale for a go second. Ahead. Well, just video games in a sense. Like why do people like on Call of Duty yeah. start screaming on the mic, talking shit like, I want to fuck your mom, dude. Your mom was so banging. I, we, took her to, we took her to Chili's and we right. did something at Chili's. Right. Do people actually talk like that to each other in person? Oh, fuck no. Well, uh, friends, you know? I think friends will. Like, really yeah, friends trend. will, but like strangers. If you put strangers playing Call of Duty in a tournament together, they don't talk shit like no, that to each a other. No, like, that's a complete setting. Like, it's kind of an official setting type of okay, thing. Okay, okay. But if you, like, ma- well, hold on, actually. Watch some people who play sport. Like, I think that's more different because you're playing more of a game that con- you need to concentrate more. Okay. But, like, sport games, to a point, you don't really have to. You can talk match it. Like, when I play... Uh, I was playing uh, Mowgli once, and I ripped him. Okay. Then we played again at night. Yeah. And then he destroyed yeah. me. But he's he's your friend. He, he talks mad shit to me. Okay. Mad but shit. We're talking about strangers. I know, but and um, we're talking but about in Madden, like sports. I feel like sports gamers talk more shit. If you go, there's like a lot of sports I, competition. I don't. I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's it's weird to say because you you could. Talk shit online, and that's fine. We've all agreed that it's easy to talk shit online. Yeah, yeah. But I'm curious if these strangers met face to face. Yeah, oh, if they bro, were playing face to face, how I, many of them would like start talking shit? How many of them would like get physically aggressive? But also another person? thing is too, it's also more of a confidence too, like the confidence thing. I want yeah, to your it's ego like, gets I, I could deflated see, if, if we you let's start say we brought losing. two like gimps. Like, people, like, really the same size. Like, they're even in every aspect. I think people would be more lenient to not say anything, and they would just be respectful. But if you had one guy who's all, like, tougher, we'll say, and then, like, a short little, like, a person that doesn't give off that toughness, you'd probably have the big guy talking mad shit. Hmm. So you're saying that if they got the body shape for it. Not the body shape, but just, like, if they feel like they're in an advantage. Yeah. Interesting. So I think, yeah, because if you're hidden, you have an advantage. You find like, I'm, well, I'm protected. What's he going to say to me? Oh, you know, he, he talks shit back. I can just block him or leave. You know? Yeah. So yeah. he's not going to, and if he wants to follow me, follow me. But I could put like, blo- uh, I could block him from everything, you know? Some people better than others, I guess. Like on Xbox, I remember when I was on Xbox 360 back in high school, uh, we had a group of people like Xbox only, you could only talk to one person. Then they created the party chat. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That was a big thing. I remember getting blocked by some friends. <laughs> you know, I have a story about a relationship. I, I actually miss those those days on Xbox yeah. One and the parties together. Oh, that was fun. It was nice. Oh, I met a couple of my good friends through Xbox. Yeah. That's it. Bringing yeah. people together. So I definitely like, got closer to you through Xbox, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We talked more. Yeah. But now you, you betrayed us for the Master Race. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So, uh, I gotta have a car. Let me, let me, why, why a car? If I didn't have a car, I wouldn't have seen, I won't see you as much as I did. Oh, yeah, I guess not. So, let me ask you, how do you react to people on the streets, like homeless? Uh, it depends. It depends. Like, uh, there's a level of homeless I can take. Obviously, they're not the cleanest, but I'm like, if he's dirty and, but it's dirty, I'll give him some change. But if I, if he smells bad or if he's like, he has shits on his hand, obviously, I'm just gonna try to ignore him. Hmm. Well, that's that's cool too because I was gonna bring up another study, but like just as a tangent, yeah. uh, people who asked for money on the streets, who were dressed in like a suit, got more money than the homeless. And these people were dressed in like expensive suits. Was he asking for like because they needed money like as a homeless, or were they fronting up as like a charity? Maybe. No, no. He he was asking for money like a homeless person. That's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, it's messed up. We're attracted oh. to things that look nicer. You Did you know? see the guy wearing and the we'll money suit? Nice. Like that, uh, yeah, who could just take a dollar. Yeah, I love how the whole this if person you need it. took yeah. like three bucks. Yeah. But like a woman with like fresh nails is just like, well, you gave him free money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that that was super interesting seeing the homeless people versus the people who actually don't need the money these fucking interesting psych studies man oh hold on but a lot of them are getting caught now though a lot of people are getting caught with fake videos oh yeah yeah there's 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 that too you got to wonder how many of those well did you see the guy who uh, it would be cool to replicate them though you're on what you're on reddit yeah well okay well i'm on nine gags i don't lame but like you make fun of me for that sometimes yeah i all the time so all the time i'm on uh, i went on nine gags and i saw what was the picture son of a bitch Ah, go on with your change. Brain man. fart. Yeah, completely forgot it. Try to remember, but oh. uh, so I, I'm I'm not very good with homeless people. What is that? I don't know. I don't I don't give anything. I don't. I because I, I have this con- conception in my head that like they'll use it for drugs or alcohol, and maybe they 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 physically need it. You know how I see it for their body, but mm-hmm. like I, I don't know. I, I, and then I keep saying, like, I would rather feed them. But, like, do I ever feed them? No, I don't. And I would, I would, I've actually had this idea where, like, you know, collect a bunch of stories from homeless people just just to see. Oh, I loved your idea there. Yeah. So that was it, awesome. Like, we should have done that one day. We should really do that. But uh, I'm too shy to do that. I'll do it with you. I'll talk. Maybe. Maybe. That's a fucking really, you know, or make a book about their life story. Yeah, oh, no, that'd be that'd be good. Yeah. Don't say too much. Yeah, I know. It's just, but it's a fucking great idea. Yeah. yeah, and I know it's a good idea. It would be interesting because they probably have super interesting stories. Well, to share. it's because you know you were. I remember uh, something that goes along with that story. What was that? with your idea? Because I saw something in the news before, like right before you told me that. What was it? Uh, I can't say it because it's it really gives off your idea. Okay, but. Uh, Look, we're really thinking about doing this in the future, and you guys are going to love it. So stay tuned, because be this would be great. I remember now, I think. Okay, okay. say what so the picture guys, was. I saw a picture, and it was with a, a YouTube guy. It was basically a a, Muslim, a girl dressed up in like the Muslim attire, the whole okay. thing. Okay, yeah. But like it was her making out with some guy. Yeah. And like, then she was like, wearing really hot underwear, and like a lot of people got angry. And then uh, we, a guy said it was a social experiment to see what people would have said right. if they saw something like this. And then we found out that he paid uh, a model yeah. to do it, and she stopped because she was getting death threats. And now because she signed a no, a no disclosure yeah. and admitted to doing it, she's he's suing her. Yeah. I just remember that. I was like, what the fuck? Right, right, right. And like so many people. And then like, uh, did you see the one where uh, it was some uh, a guy put like uh, make America great again? A sticker on his car and then there was a bunch of people like it was in the hood they called it and they like started smashing the car and everything but oh we found God. out that right before there was another person recording this recording them all together right and then he paid a bunch of black guys to uh, beat up on the car mm. to make a video i see so there's a bunch of people and like the remember that airline thing with delta delta yeah okay before United, there okay, was Delta, yeah. where the Just Arab guys sure it's were... it's not the United shit. Where the uh, two Arab uh, kids were kicked off the plane? No, I don't remember well, that. Well, like, suppose there was a video of these two guys getting kicked off the plane. And it was fake? Because they were Arab. And then, like, a bunch of people saying they were very agitated and right, right, right before the flight. And they started shit with the tenant, like, everything. And supposedly people are saying it was fake. And then they got caught. And uh, a lot of people came to the witness and said no. These guys weren't kicked because they were Muslim. They were kicked for being assholes and being ris- disrespectful and pissed. Right. So a bunch of people, like a lot of people do anything. It's like, think about it too. Like I'm watching one of this guy named Ben Phillips. He's a YouTube guy. And like, he, he used to do these original pranks, like soft stuff, like uh, peanut butter or like, uh, you know, that cookie, like Oreos. And he put like uh toothpaste in it and the you know, stuff like that yeah, okay. putting like peanut butter on the phone an old phone uh, down. like sweet things or like you remember the, i don't know if you remember a, a youtube video of a guy taking a water balloon and throwing it out the window and landing on the guy's crotch no oh i gotta find that and send that to you <laughs> you throw a big water balloon it was supposed to go over his head but it missed and it landed on the guy's crotch with gravity it was a heavy balloon and bang <laughs> so it's like and then it exploded all over him yeah, okay anyways he used to do these really good original pranks but then now you can see that he's it looks kind of fake sometimes okay because some stuff are like really out of it's like he put fake press on nails on him when he was asleep 
Okay. And then he goes and he's like pushing down. Oh, and, and the guy doesn't wake up. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I get it. Some stuff was like, come on, we all know you faked this. Yeah. And then like the reactions are just too crazy. Mm. Like they're over the top. I'm sure there's a bunch of prank video channels that uh, are fake. Fake it all. Uh, okay. So the reason why I brought up the homeless people was uh, because there was another study. It's actually not done by homeless people. It was more people that are injured. So like these uh, university students were told to uh, present something at a gymnasium across the campus. And some of them said, you have to be there quick. You have to run. You're in a rush. Okay. Mm -hmm. And others were saying, you have time. You could do whatever you want. Now, outside of the auditorium, there was a woman pretending to be injured. And the people who had time, they didn't have to present right away. When they passed this woman, they would take the time to help them. Like, a high percentage of them. I really wish I remember the numbers right now. But it, it was a good percentage of people would stop and help this woman with whatever was hurting her. Meanwhile... Almost nobody from the rushed group helped the woman. And a lot of these people reported saying that they didn't even notice the woman. Now, I got to ask you, this isn't technically being a bad person, but it's not being a good person when you have a chance to be a good person, right? It's like my experience. It's like my life where I'm not helping these homeless people, you know, but I see them almost every day. You're justified. You're justified to a point. I feel like your thing because you have a solid question. Like I wouldn't feel comfortable giving like like twenty five cents. The reason why I think this is my reason for giving is like yeah. because of that twenty five cents. Maybe I'm saving him from doing something stupid like rob a person or hurt someone. Okay. Like I'm not saying I'm a hero, but I'm saying like maybe because of that those little ch that little change, I'm helping him not commit a big crime. I once gave two dollars to a guy, yeah. and he said, "Do you have three? Fuck that. I'm like, I'm like, I told him, like, dude, I gave you two. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's like. No, in that case, then I'm sorry. That guy's an asshole. I would have been like, you know what? I'm taking this. I want the two back. Well, I, I, I wouldn't call him an asshole. I'd call him desperate at that point. No, at that point, no. I'll say that's desperate. Because if you're in a, like, you got to remember, if you're in a situation where you're asking me for money. Yeah. You say thank you to whatever yeah, you, you can get. you say thank you and you But at up. the same time. Like, you got to wonder what his life is like to be asking for more. Now, he could be just lying and trying to get the most he can from a sucker. But he might be telling the truth and th say, like, three would help me a million times more than two right now. Okay. You know? It's, t it's a tough call because a lot of these people are scammers, too. I used to hate going to see uh, somebody. Uh, she lives further away. So I, I would have to drive by Angry Elms Overpass. Right. Or to get on the highway, and there's always the same. Oh guy. yeah, there's a guy with the sign walking in between the. Yeah, and he's always saying, uh, "I'm a single father. Mm -hmm. I need help." I'm like, I would give to him, and but like sometimes I would go on that bridge like three, four times a day. Yeah. And like he, I understand he doesn't remember my face, but sometimes he was just like, "Whoa, I just gave you maybe I just maybe gave you a buck fifty, a buck, or fifty cent," and it's just like I came. Oh, and he's always asking, and it's just like sometimes he would give me like a uh, a look. He would give me like. You know, you can give me, you can help out. You can give me more. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, you got to realize sometimes I'm going on this bridge five times a, a week, like back and forth. You told like, him oh. this. No, I'm just thinking in my head. Nah, it's yeah, just I like think. the guy, he got fed up. Like, it's like sometimes I didn't give it to him. And I'm like, I'm not a bad person, even though I have a change thing right next to me. I could give him the change. Yeah. But I can't always give it because I have to think about myself too. Of course. Yeah. Because who knows? Because you never know. Sometimes I always say this in the back of my head. And I'm like, Imagine I took change out of my change jar and I'm like, I have no money anymore and I just needed a dollar to keep myself from going broke or something. Okay. So imagine that. Yeah. So sometimes I'm, I'm able to help. Sometimes I'm not. It's like charity. Why are you doing charity? Because you can. It's yeah. not because you should. They, there's also levels of charity. It's like, yes, time is money. Money is time. It is a real fact because... I can't always help, and I can sometimes, but I can always help, but I can't. Right. I don't know how many times like my mother has given money to like a foundation here, and then like they call 
and they, they call back and then like one time my mom said no and the guy just tried to like guilt her into it it's like you know this really we needed that extra 50 then my mom gets me the phone and the guy's like uh, hi can i help you i'm like yeah i'm like my mother just gave me the phone I'm like, can i help you it's like yeah we're trying to collect i'm like well look we did enough charity this year yeah thank you I call back a week later yeah, well, and they're pushing, and I'm just like, if you don't stop calling, that's their job. The next year, when you guys are calling next year, and I do have money, I'm gonna say no, just move along. Yeah, yeah. Look, in the end of the day, people feel more brave behind the door. Like, imagine that guy was coming door to door asking for money, and I said no the first time. He might have said, "But you sure?" And that's it. But because he's on the phone. He feels like he could be rude because, you know, why is he trying to bring my mom down? Well, I think it's his job to do that. (laughs) You know, it's like like, he's being told by a superior to like be uh, pushy uh, like that. A hundred percent. You're right. But would he be able to be pushy like the way he is? I think good salesmen would. That's the difference between a a good salesman and a bad one back in the day. That's right. Like, What's that book there? Death of a Salesman? I never read it. Uh, I need to read it. Basically, it's a good guy and he can't. Oh, he, really? He that really, sounds like a good story. He's like, a, he's like, a, his basically, he's a salesman, but he was never a good one. Yeah. But at the end, he has like a life insurance, and it's the death of a salesman. And it's like, it's interesting. Well, don't spoil it for me. You're not going to read it. <laughs> I am going to read it. Okay. I'm going to read play. it, or, yeah, that's fine. I'll watch it. Or I'll watch the movie. Like, I, it's on my reading list. I'll watch that. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. these scientists. Uh, suggested that time was a factor on whether we're good people or not. So the people who had more time helped more than the people who had no time. So do do you ever like tell yourself you don't have time to help? Yeah. Yeah. eh? I find myself saying that too. A lot. There's a difference between me and you. I could say that I could reach in my pocket for a loony and give it to this person, but you know, I gotta, I gotta rush to work, kind of stuff. Me, it's more like uh, I'll give you an example with friends. Is like, I value no, like I value my free time a lot more for myself, and I know I could go help you, but I'm like, I just did enough today. Like, I want, you know, I could take that extra minute and go help a guy, or but and I'm also I will do it, but I can't always do it. You know. Yeah. There's a fine line for being right or wrong or being mean or good. You know. It always comes down to a situation, I find. A big choice to make, so to say. So, in the end, do you think that we're all able to be horrible, horrible people? Yes. Do you think that we're all able to be very good people? Yes. Okay, I wanted to end it on a positive note. <laughs> the the really got, like, conversation. Really sad, like, oh. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, I just asked a question making is super sad. It's like we're all capable of being... Well, can we just leave it in a way where we people we gave people in thought? Like, they're thinking about this now? Like, Radio Lab does that. And it's like... They, they put five... Not five minutes, but like... <laughs> 45 seconds of silence before they start playing like really ominous music just to make you think like someone said something profound and then silence. This show was brought to you by (laughs) they would do that kind of stuff, you know? So good discussion. I missed this. We're uh, we're back on schedule, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening.